Hello, I'm Jim Salisbury with Mitsutoya America Corporation, and welcome to the Metrology Training Lab. In this episode, we're going to teach you how to speak like a measurement professional. We are often dealing with small numbers in this business. Tolerances, errors, deviations, uncertainties. Most of the values that are important to us in dimensional measurements are smaller than the thickness of your hair. These little numbers have multiple zeros after the decimal point, which makes speaking them difficult. You don't want to be saying something like 0 0.00005. Huh? To me, it all gets lost after hearing that second zero. In both inch and metric units, our industry has its own language and some of it's a bit unwritten and unofficial slang terms. But those special terms can be very useful in everyday conversations. We've put together a technical bulletin on this topic. You can easily find it on the on-demand section of our website. In this episode, we're going to run through, through some examples of this language by looking at common measuring instruments, starting with this digital caliper. As shown on this digital display of this caliper, the resolution is 0 0.0005 inches. And even though I just said 0 0.0005 inches, I would never say that. In fact, just saying that now makes me a bit uncomfortable. Though the units are in inches, in practice, we work in a world where the base unit is a thousandth of an inch. As shown in the second caliper, the tenths, hundredths, thousandths decimal place is one. And we would read this as one thousandths of an inch, or often simply one thou. This, of course, is slang, and I would never write thou down as a word because it's not official. I would write this down, but say one thou. And we would probably not say inches, even though it is. So we say thou a lot. One thou, two thou, 15,000, 123,000. I could say 123 thousandths of an inch or 0 0.123 inches. But it's a lot quicker and more understandable to just say 123,000. In some organizations, they even drop the thou and just say 123. It's understood that you are speaking in thousandths of an inch. In my world, in dimensional calibration, even a thou, as small as it is, is a big number, and we are often dealing with much smaller numbers. So how do we speak about numbers less than a thou? So looking back at this caliper, we see this number, I'm not saying all those zeros again. When seeing this number, many people would simply say, half a thou. Another common way of reading this number is to say five tenths, where tenths is referring to this being the ten thousandths decimal place. Tenths, hundredths, thousands, ten thousandths, or simply a tenth. This is useful slang. When our base is thousands, then a tenth is a ten thousandths. A tenth is very commonly spoken when using micrometers. This digital micrometer, for example, is reading three tenths. Again, tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, or simply three tenths. And the vernier scale on this micrometer reads to a tenth. Just like the word thou, we never write the word tenth, but we do say it a lot. 
A tenth is a pretty small number. In many shops, that is about as small a number as you'll be dealing with. But in some cases, we need to go even smaller. But before we do that, let's look at the same caliper and micrometer examples, but this time in metric units. This caliper reads out in millimeters, which are one thousandths of a meter. One really nice thing about the metric system are all the additional and legally official prefixes. You never say a thou of a meter, you just say millimeter. This caliper has a resolution of 0.01 millimeters, which is fine to say, I suppose, but I really prefer to never say any leading zeros after the decimal point. And with the metric system, you never have to. When I see a number like this, I imagine moving the decimal place over three places and using the next metric prefix. In this case, that's 10 micrometers or 10 microns, written with the metric prefix mu followed by the M for meter. When using metric units, we use microns a lot. We write the mu and we say micron. Now officially, there is no micron. It's a micrometer. Now the micrometer unit used to be called the micron, back before the full implementation of the metric system for all the different units. Microliter, microgram, micrometer, get it? But in practice, everybody says micron. But we don't write that word. It is slang. It's unofficial. When you're writing, use the proper metric name or the unit. But when you are speaking, micron is what everybody says. And speaking of microns and micrometers, let's look again at this micrometer a word that happens to be spelled the same as micrometer, but pronounced differently. Now I can't explain why we pronounce the word micrometer and micrometer differently. You've got the wrong Dr. Salisbury to help you with that question. Back to this micrometer. The resolution of this digital mic is 0 0.001 millimeters. And if I move the decimal place over three places, one, two, three, we see that 001 millimeters is one micron. I suppose we shouldn't be too surprised that a micrometer, I'm sorry, a micrometer reads to a micrometer. Coming back to inches, as I mentioned previously, there are times when we are using numbers smaller than a tenth. What do we do then? I don't think you want to be saying a tenth of a tenth. Let's look at the solution for these really small numbers. On this micrometer, this number, 0 0.00005 inches, is the resolution of the micrometer. Some people might say this value is half a tenth. If this is the ten thousandths place, the five here would be half of that. So half a tenth is correct. And that's a pretty good way of speaking. There are times, however, where it's useful to use a different unit, a much smaller unit, the millionth of an inch. If we move the decimal place over six spots, one, two, three, four, five, six, we get the number 50 for 50 millionths of an inch. We may say millionths, but the proper unit is borrowed from the metric system. Just like we have the micron or micrometer is a millionth of a meter, a millionth of an inch is a micro inch and the notation is mu inch or mu in. 
Now, not many people use millionths every day, unless you're hanging around in a dimensional calibration lab. There are some products like gauge blocks, ring gauges, pin gauges, that are specified in millionths or micro inches all the time. And in surface roughness, the values are expressed in millionths as well. Even this common micrometer, if you ask me, what's the resolution? I will say 50 millionths or one micron. So that's the language we speak. Thou, tenths, millionths, Microns, micrometers, micro inches, terms you need to know to work in this business. Now you may have noticed that I avoided any discussion about converting between inch and metric units. This was intentional. However, I do find it very useful to be able to quickly convert between units. But I didn't want to get into that in this episode. The technical bulletin I mentioned earlier does have some good tips on conversions. But for now, to be complete, let me state the most important conversion in our business. One inch is exactly equal to 25.4 millimeters. That value is exact with infinite precision. And as a measurement professional, I don't get to say that very often. Thank you, I'm Jim Salisbury, and I'll see you next time from the Metrology Training Lab.